Good morning and uh, welcome to Morning Moments. I am so glad that you joined us today. I have an actor from Arkansas with, with us today, Garrett Brenneman, and uh, he's an actor of film and uh, some theater, but mostly film. Uh, Garrett, I'm so glad that you joined us today. So glad to be here. Welcome and tell me a little bit about yourself. What do you do and why do you do it? Well, I am an actor, as you say, as you said, I am the second oldest of seven kids, two or one brother, five sisters. So very big family. My parents were they they started in a production called The Witness that told the story of Jesus's life from his birth to his death and all that. And so I got my first acting job as a two month year old baby who got to play baby Jesus. Um, and I've kind of grown from that uh i started off as being the shy kid with the choir book in front of my face i don't want to be seen but i wanted to be on stage and so somehow along the way i got out of my shy sh shell and i just sort of blossomed into the actor i am today um you know i've done theater film a little bit of tv just pretty much anything i can get my hands on really and the most important thing is just to be available for what God has for you, right? Yes. yes. Anything that God wants is puts in my path. You know, there, there's a lot of times with it as an actor that you have to do a lot of praying and a lot of, you know, any kind of like thinking about what you're about to do. Because, you know, there's the, I've had a couple of roles that have been asked of me that I had to take a second and think, wait, God, is this something that you want me to do? Is this okay? Is this something I need to pass up? Because, you know, sometimes it doesn't feel right. And I've had to make some tough decisions because, you know, as an actor in Arkansas, we don't really get very many opportunities. And so you, their first instinct is to want to say yes to everything. But then it's like you sometimes have to stop and think, is this right? Is this going to go against the, everything that you believe in? You know, are your morals being compromised by doing this? And so I've had a couple that I've, I've turned down and I've, I don't regret it because I knew that if I were to take that film, I would have been very uncomfortable. I would have been not able to give my best performance. And so it would have reflected poorly on me, but also would have showed people that I don't really care too much about my faith because I'm willing to do whatever I feel like I need to to make myself successful, not whatever I need to do to make God successful. If that makes sense. It makes perfect sense. I interviewed this one uh, actor and he said, I, I know that I have a lot of young people look up to me. And he says, I don't want to do any film that any young, uh, uh, young people would look in and be ashamed that I was in that. Mm -hmm. And I go, well, that's a very good way of looking at it, isn't it? It really is. Tell me a little bit about uh, one of the things I, I enjoy asking people is, is uh, during these changing times, uh, what have you learned? What kind of message have you heard during these changing times? And we were talking a little bit off air about this. Uh, there's we we all had to stop at this last year and rethink a lot of things of the way we do it, haven't we? We really have, you know, because we're so used to just it was like so fast paced. You know, you had to go to work, you had to get up, do this, you had to go and pick up the kids, you know, go and you know, cook your dinner. You know, you had no time to do to stop and rest and you know mentally rest physically rest and spiritually rest you know we i was i i have been guilty of this quite often you know that i've let my my spiritual walk you know not not be as strong as it needs to be because you know i'm so busy with everything else that it's like i just kind of let that take a back seat because i always thought oh well god's always there god's always gonna you know he'll be ready when i'm ready but I've had to learn had to learn that it's not about whenever you're ready, it's about when he's ready. He's ready now. So, you know, why waste any more time, you know, speeding off to do the next big thing here when you can take a second or two and, and just be with God for a minute, you know, spend an hour of your day, you know, just getting right with God so that your entire day is going to be a better day. Yeah, I love the scripture that says, be still and know that I am God. Yes. And, uh, you know, unless we're still and quiet, 
sometimes we forget who God is and, and what God has for us until we stop and listen. It's very true. Very true. The, the, uh, I've often said that God really wants to give his, the, his, his will to us, his message to us. Uh, God knows your heart. It's up to us, though, to hear his voice. And it's certainly hard to hear his voice unless we're stopping and listening, isn't it? It really is. You know, I've, I've, I've really, I've struggled with a lot of things in my life. You know, as, as a Christian, he was saved at a very young, young age, you know, because I, I, I grew up in a, in the, in the, in the quote unquote, you know, drug church life where, you know, you're drugged to church every Friday, every Sunday, you know, drugged to church on Wednesdays, you know, and uh, our, my father was very much, he never could settle on one one church itself. So I've been to every Baptist church, every Pentecost church, every church of God. And, you know, the only church I haven't been to is a Catholic church. And that's a whole nother story. <laughs> but, you know, and, and it's very funny because it's like everyone, you think, oh, you were saved at a very young age. So your life must have not been that hard. But no, as it just makes, it's just that I just have all these, I struggled with a lot of things as an adult myself. And so, it's just finding that ability to, you know, just keep your time with God so that when things start creeping up that want to throw you off track, you know, you got God to put you right back on the path where he's walking so you can be walking right next to him. You know, it's it's not like you, after 20 years of sa being saved or 15 years of being saved, you can just dial it in from there on out. There's the walk with Christ, uh, it, it changes and he's new to us, brand new every morning. Yes. And uh, I've told folks, I've been a Christian now for over 55 years. And um, I find that if I don't die daily, then I step back from my walk. So I have to make an effort to every day to get into the get into the word get into prayer and and find out what god has for me today because today's a brand new day yes uh garrett it has just been a pleasure to get to know you and to get to know your heart for god and heart for acting in the story you know the the message of getting somebody else's story and acting it out and, and presenting it so that the message either the message the writer has in that play or ultimately in faith-based films the message of christ comes through um i'm going to ask everyone to keep an eye on garrett and watch watch his uh, his uh um his websites and his uh credits he's done a lot of stuff already but see what he's doing now and what he'll be doing in the future but more important than that i, I want you as i've asked all, often with my my guest when you think of garrett give him give him part of your prayer life and say god just touch him we are all better through the prayers of each other and just yeah. because somebody's in front of this you know in front of the screen doesn't mean that they don't have struggles behind the screen and i i want you just, just to pray for my brother that he will con constantly be on guard and to and accept the right roles but also be open for what god has for him because i think he's god's got great and mighty things for him he's got a hope and plan and future for you my brother that is that i i'm i'm believing it and i'm accepting it Amen. All right. It has been my pleasure to get to know you and looking forward to uh, getting to know more about you in years to come as we keep keep an eye on your career and keep praying for you. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Yes, thank you for having me. All right. And, and thank you all for joining me and keep coming back for some more morning moments. <laughs>